And, uh, oh, maybe it should be that way. Yeah. And then they just keep it in the fridge. Alright, and we're live. Alright, so this is action. Hey guys, saying it's live. We're uh we're here in my lovely kitchen. We're not shooting at the test kitchen right now, but we're you know we're being in touch. We're we're zoom communicationing and uh you know doing all these different technology, man. You know, people love to hate on it. But what I was getting at is um you know it's really nice that we have this technology now to be able to, to talk and keep in touch which leads us to we're being able to try to shoot some it's alive stuff in my kitchen i got hunzi on the on the computer looking at me it's just like uh you know it's just like we were there except we're here and it's my home and i love my home i say i love cooking here i'm here all the time i got all my stuff set up for me very efficient i don't even have to move i just got to pivot on my foot and i can just freaking doorbell gonna have to get that babe <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, oh. And take two. <laughs> Camera speed, sound speed. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, so it leads us to here. We're shooting in the test kitchen. We're, oh no, sorry. So we've got some really cool projects. We're gonna start off with a, a real simple fermentation one that I use all the time. Some garlic, ginger, two of my favorite things. We're gonna ferment it into a paste and it becomes this condiment. It's wonderful, you can use it on almost anything. I'll eat it right out of the freaking jar when it's done. It's that good, okay? It's one of the best things you can have in your fridge at any time. And now's a great time to do it. So let's make it together. Hunzi, you ready or what, bud? You wanna get some, some ginger, okay? And I, I know we can weigh it. We're gonna, I'm not gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna weigh it, okay? You don't always have to peel ginger, you know. Um, you know, do whatever you want. With the little nibbins, when you do, they're a pain to peel. So, oh, we get a little bowl, okay? Look, that'll be the little nibbin bowl, and I'll crush those, and I'll steep them in some hot water, make some tea. Boom, zero waste. And then these are super easy to, to peel when they're just like nice blocky knobs, you know? It's a great idea, Brad. You stick with me, bud. And you can mix this up with anything. I'm just doing it pure. I'm going ginger, garlic, salt. I have definitely done it with... Um, turmeric with Fresnos. You can add all kinds of stuff to this. This is just a nice, fun, blank, blank canvas of flavor. Okay, great. And then we're gonna peel it. Ugh. A lot of people, we, I feel like we've done this, or maybe with ginger beer. Use a spoon, and some people swear, oh, you know what? That's the absolute best. That's the only way to do it. Yada, yada, yada. I've been doing it for 75 years. Is that a dog? I don't have a dog. Talk to me, Keith. I'm thinking. <laughs> do you have a dog? I do. Okay. No, I don't. What the hell did I say that for? <laughs> well, get a dog, because you have a dog bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? It's one of my kids barking. Uh, give me one second. And we're back. Okay. Spoon or not the spoon. Depends who you ask. But I, it does work well, especially with the, without the nubbins. Oh, yeah, it's good. Depending on how old it is or how fresh it is. <laughs> I guess that's kind of the same thing, right? Depending on how old it is or how, how... Oh, God. See, this is back. Yeah, I had those kids, you know? They're a little too young to be efficient yet. But I get them working for me soon. Great job for the kids. You're sitting there with the family. Oh, we're bored. Oh, we're going to do something. B -b 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 -b. I know something you could do there. Samantha, some, go peel all the ginger for me, okay? And I don't want any waste, okay? I'll be like, oh, hey, hey, Griff, come here. Hey, peel this. Make sure you don't miss any spots, okay? That's freaking brilliant. And then I'll use it. It'll give them a, we'll call it an activity. Never thought to say peeling garlic would be, like, sounds better. Oh. Be right back. <laughs> Callan boy. Well, make the sheep go away. Yeah, we have um, animals in our house now. Hey, I guess it's a little weird talking to yourself in your, in your kitchen, you know? Looking at, looking at my phone. Actually, I kind of like it. I don't care. It's not that bad. You know? You're home. You know what? This shirt's itchy. It was a bad idea today to wear this shirt. You know, hold on one sec. Let me go change my shirt. I can't do that at the kitchen. 
Actually, I do have a couple shirts stowed away just in case. Just got to. Something could happen. I might even have an extra pair of pants. You know? Because what if, like, boom, I'm, I'm in the test kitchen and I'm like, oh, Hunzi, oh, I'm making, um, we made fermented tater tots. Oh, let me get them out of the oven. Blop, there goes my pants. And my ass is hanging out, you know? Oh, wait, hold on. Don't worry about it. Ha, 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 ha. I go, I got an extra pair of pants. My big ass is going to blow out one day. Okay, and we're back. Yeah, with, we're back. Oh, hey, and we're back. We're, um, how would you say that? Hey, oh, hey, we're back. And it's a lot. Oh, hey, back. We're ever. Whatever. It's plow, plowing, plowing ahead here. We'll work on that. <laughs> oh, hey, we're back. Okay. You know what the problem is with shooting at home? It's too easy to just get weird. Like, there's no, like, social, like, um, bound. You know, like, I just go. I just, there's no, it's like a ball being thrown in outer space. There's just, you can go anywhere. Or actually, is that true? Because if, if something was thrown in space, wouldn't it have, like, a trajectory? And it would just maintain that. Okay, so I got the ginger, 214 grams. Not one more, not one less. That's not true, do whatever you want. And then we're gonna, we're gonna do the same thing with garlic. And no, I'm not doing the freaking, I don't wanna hear nothing about the bowl thing. I don't, I'm not banging it around in a bowl. I don't, I don't care if it's five times faster. Just don't wanna do it. And then you wanna look for a little bad, you, know, you don't want any bad ones here. Same with the ginger. You get some boo-boo garlic that's like already starting to freaking do its own fermentation. What the hell happened here? Searching this Mac. Who's doing that? Hunzi, you hacking my computer? Someone's in. It's probably Carrie. It's probably Frank. <laughs> Frank, I'm just kidding. Okay, garlic. Yeah. So you want to look for bad ones. Um, if you find ones that have that green germ going, you know what is it? It's uh, April now almost. You go ahead. If you got to, if you got an outdoors or if you got a bucket with a little planter, just pop those in with the little green germ facing up. Before you know, you got spring garlic shooting up all over the place. Peeling garlic. Oh, this is like the fourth time I felt like I wanted to reference like making my children do labor. It's not. No, that's just called family bonding and teaching your kids skills, right? It's cooking together, man. As a family, we get the job done. That's what he Griff's always say. Oh, to work together, we get the job done. I said yes, son. I think he learned it on a, car, like a cartoon show. Hunzi, let's make a kid show. That seems nice. A mess. So I like to... Oh, I'm going to get in on the close. Hey. So I, so I like to nip the little wooden nubs, the little, you know, that part off. And then, some, you know what else I'll do? No, that's it. We'll see. What was it? 100 and... Uh, 214. 214? Whatever this way is. That's what we're going to do. What I'm looking for is about a 50-50 split. I'm doing the scale just for, uh, so, so we can tell how much it was, see how accurate my guessing is. But I'm, I'm going for volume, really. Like a nice 50-50 split. Let's see how close my, my garlic guessing is. My, my, um, gar, um, my garlic, uh, never mind. Jesus Christmas. Oh yeah, and then we're weighing it for total weight so that we can get our percentage of salt ratio. We're gonna do a, a 2% salt. And you know, while you're at it, you should just do more garlic and then get some honey and then make some more fermented garlic honey. Ooh la la. We're almost there. All right, we're gonna... Oh, I should be using the big boy. The new coming big boy. Ah, oh, stay tuned folks. We got the walnut handle. Me and, me and the lamb, some folks are teamed up. I know they're selling them already, but the new ones, I did it. Look, signature series, babe. First thing I ever signed in my life, all right, except for a paycheck. Boom! Look at that. Dirty. Fingerprints, garlic all over it, as it should be. That's it, baby. Oh, what a knife. I'll tell you what. $69.99. You can't beat that. I tell you what, buy two. Buy two, buy three. Billy Mays here. You can use it for anything. Chop, crush, cut, clean your car. Whatever, it's $69.99, buy 20. No, I'm just kidding. All right, back to this. 165 grams of, of uh, garlic, okay? So there's more ginger, but I'm done. I'm not peeling no more. Let me clean up real quick. 
All right, Griff, ready? Uh-huh. What are we about to do? Action. All right, beat it, sound boy. <laughs> so we have our garlic. It's already all crushed up nice. I'm going to, look, I'm going to give it a quick little chop. We're going to turn it into a paste after, but I'm thinking that just kind of helps kickstart the fermentation process. And then the ginger, give it a nice little crush and a chop. Oh, the garlic, the garlic, the, the, the ginger smasher. Oh, Jesus Christ. I gotta get out of this house. 332 grams total, okay? So we're gonna do 2%. Oh, I don't have my phone. Okay, I should be, I should be able to figure this out. 330, what's 2%? Um, would be 3.2, no? Oh, I guess 3.3.2. 3.32. So 2% would be 6. 6-4. Oh, oh, he, he's learning. So what we say is I'm just going to do six grams. And then from there, we're just going to mix it up real nice. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a little bit of honey. This is a first. I've never done this before. So let's say about a teaspoon, maybe not even. Uh, uh, half of a teaspoon heavy. Maybe that'll help fermentation a little bit, kickstart. So I got my little vac bags, okay? I like to do a nice double, triple seal, one or the other. But I always do two. A little safety, you know? And then we're gonna just take these, we're gonna add it to the bag, suck all the air out, and then we're gonna let it ferment. And we're gonna call the lovely Sola. We're gonna have Sola do this with us, except she's gonna do it in a jar. Why not? And I haven't seen Sola in a while. I like Sola, I ain't seen her. So we're gonna give her a call, and she said she'd do this little project with me. So, you know, it'd be fun, just like the kitchen. Hey, Sola, what do you think? Hey, Sola, how do you temper chocolate? Oh, just Zoomer. She ain't doing nothing. She's got that cute dog, though. Roo, 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 roo. Roo. All right, right into the bag, all right? Doggo. Hey, doggo. Hey, bag-o! I got a crazy idea. I like this. I like cooking at home. I can just, we can go rogue so easy. I got a bay leaf. I'm just gonna bruise it up a little, keep it whole, just to give off some aromatics. I like it so much. And then let's vacuum seal it up. Okay, we got a triple seal. Look at that. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a close up. That's the stuff. Look at that, nice little package. If you don't have a vac bag, you can do it in a jar and that's what Sol is gonna do. I like to get, well, I like the vac bags too is you can show how much gas is giving off. And it's so pretty too, look how pretty that is. All right. Ready. Oh, Sola! <laughs> Finally. Yeah! We did it. There's our gal. <laughs> so, Sola, yeah, what do you got? You got your garlic and your ginger. Okay, so I have 150 grams of each because I stopped peeling. <laughs> Perfect. So, so, I'm have a nice. so well, you got 300 grams, correct, Amundo? Yeah, all day, yeah. Okay, so uh, crush them up. Wait, just smush it. Smush it, yeah, use whatever you want. You're a very, very clever one. Okay, I have something that's designed just to smush things. Okay. That's cool. I brought so my... how are you hanging in there, Sola? You having fun? No, man, I'm not hanging in there. Are you hanging All in right. there? All well, are right, you, are you, are you feel okay? Yeah, yeah, I, I only hurt on the inside. You, oh, Jesus, here <laughs> we go. Well, have a shot of whiskey, okay? Okay, all right, I have my smusher. Yeah, just smush it up and then add it all to a bowl. Don't go making too much of a mess, though. Okay. It's great. Oh, all right, you don't need to turn it into paste quite yet. It's okay <laughs> if you did, but you just don't have to kill it. I mean, if you want to let out some tension, okay. you're getting a little, yeah, just smash it. Do whatever. Yeah, yeah perfect. That's actually, oh, well, all right, yep. We're going to mix it together, want, Don't right? smash all the juice out of it. You just want to open it up. Okay, okay. Holy shit. And then what? So you had 300 grams. So I add yeah. um, um, uh, six grams of salt, right? That would be 2%, right? I think. I Go a little less in case 2% is too much. Why don't you do four and a half grams? Four and a half This would be grams. a great experiment. I like this. This is a first. Hold on. I'm going to get closer. That's it? Just salt? That's it. Well, no, this is less is more, okay? We're not trying to make this big freaking thing. No, nothing else. Oh, I added one bay leaf for a little aromatic. Okay. But you don't have to do that. You could throw a Fresno in there. You could throw 
a dried chili in there. You can do whatever. This is what's great about this, is we can do whatever we want, Soa. Okay. Are you using tweezers? Yeah, my cabinets are really high. What about, I have these cinnamon tree leaves that I've never used before. Right? Yeah, yeah, throw one in there. Why not? Oh, you know what I did? I added a little bit of honey too, like, like a teaspoon. Oh, okay. All right, throw this bad boy in a jar, put a lid on it. If you have a two-way valve, that works too. If, a one-way valve, I mean. If not, just keep an eye on it. You might need to burp it or, or it might blow up into a glass shrapnel grenade. Oh, she's standing on a stool. Oh my God, be careful, Sola. <laughs> Griffin, watch. Look at Sola. Look at Sola. She's going up into the into the cabinet. <laughs> Here, let's watch Sola. Don't do this at home, kids. Probably should. Look at you me. jumping around like a freaking tree frog up there. <sighs> Look at Sola. Hey, Sola, meet Griff. Hey, how's it going? He's good. <laughs> so I need to make a fermentation station now, right? Y yeah, get it going. I chopped it with a knife oh. after I smushed it. Whoa. But you don't have to, Sola. You don't have to. This is a great experiment. Sola, do you want to chop it for the second jar? Do one jar not chop, second jar chop? Whoa. Wild. Why not? Why the hell not? Yeah, that's a good idea. Hunzi, good thinking. Yeah. You know, this is great. We're all really working together. <laughs> working together while apart. Yeah. It's the future. All right, Brad. So I covered these up. Perfect. You throw them on the counter. That's what's nice. You forget about it. We'll keep in touch. Hey, let me know how those go, and then we'll, we'll, I'll call you again. I'm going to make shrimp. You don't have to, but I'm going to make shrimp. I'm going to make something. All right. Stay healthy, and right. uh, we'll talk to you soon. I, I, I aroused him from his nap just for you. Puppy, puppy. Oh, can you puppy. see? Puppy. Yeah, puppy. it's a puppy. Yeah, look at the pup. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah. This is Vito. <laughs> he is four years old. Oh Clementine! Oh I'm gonna smush. Okay. Look at that, the peg the dog. Oh my god. Alright folks, so we're back. Alright? Well right, it's been it's been one week. Right? Hunzi, fact check. It's been those guys, huh? What are they doing now? Anyway, so it's been about a week or so, I'd say. About a week. Has it been one week? It's been one week, all right? And look, we got a little air buildup, no big puffing or nothing, but the first couple days I noticed there were some bubbles, a little boo bow, okay? That's fermentation, that's nice. What we're gonna do, what our next, for my next trick, is I'm gonna open this up, remove the bay leaves, dump it into the food processor, okay? And we're gonna brrr, turn it into a real nice fine paste. And it just becomes a, like a beautiful little, little cooking, wha-bam, into the wok, into the skillet, into the marinade, into the braise. You get a dollop, you get a dollop. Oh yeah, whoo! Smells like, smells like, fr smells pretty good actually. A little sweet, maybe a little, Tiny bit boozy. The garlic smells delightful. You know, you can, I would even like to ferment this longer. Go another week. This was one week. Go another. Let it get real, real weird and sweet. But let's try this out. So right now it looks like when you, if you were to get one of those jars at like Costco or your supermarket, it's like the minced garlic. I'm going to try to bring it even a little further. Mm-hmm. What the hell was that? Oh. All right, here we go. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. You can use any, any oil you want. I like olive oil. I want this smooth, like smooth, like applesauce. And the olive oil is getting emulsified in there, and it's turning it into a nice paleness. Woo! There we go. Thai bow, baby. Thai bow. Oh. Now, cool down period, cool down period. Yeah, I do a little home workouts now, you know. I got a heavy bag, I'm throwing, throwing, the, throwing some punches, you know. Jesus Christ, who put that there? Well, let me show you guys this, this is cool. All right, and we're mobile. And we're mobile. Hunziker. All right, this is what we got. This is the pace, this is the consistency I like, okay? 
Nice. You see, that looks pretty good though. Now I'm just gonna put it in that jar like that, and then I keep it in the fridge, okay? Then I keep it in the fridge. And, uh, oh, maybe it should be that way. Yeah, and then I just keep it in the fridge for, you know, at least a week or two, put it in all types of stuff. We're gonna do it in this nice little wok I got. A little garlic ginger fermented paste. Home run derby. Let me go put this back on Stiff Steve, and uh, well, I'll make you guys a little lunch. I'm a little lunch. Sorry, Hunzi, none for you. Back to Stiff Steve here. All right, Steve, you good? Hunzi, you good? Action. All right, preheating my wok, and we're just gonna put this nice little jam right in my jar here. I wonder what Sol is gonna be doing. Actually, I already know, and it's gonna be delicious. It's a very good idea. Ah, the lovely Sola. Hook shot. Okay, I'm gonna add my mushrooms. Let me get the shrimp, I got some good shrimp. Oh, I got some good guys for you here. I'm gonna cut them. You know, I don't know, I don't know. I was thinking of like cutting them into pieces with the shell on, maybe split them down the back. Yeah, let me get some snips, that's a good idea. That's a good idea, Brad. And we'll snip them right down, we'll throw the freaking heads in there too. All right, this is gonna be beautiful, Hunzi. So I'm cutting them into thirds, leaving some meat on the head, and then we're gonna take the Joyce Chen's and just snip the back shell a little bit. A little peel and eat in the shell. Sauteed with a little, little veg and some garlic ginger. Fermentation. Voila. Oh, one more. What are you gonna do, Brad? You gonna save one shrimp? Asshole. Does that. Quiet, boys. I'm gonna grab the camera. We're gonna go check this out because things are looking cool. We got our garlic ginger. Here we go. Looking good. All right, we got our shrimp bows with the mushrooms. This is kind of hard to do. Make sure I get, get the shot. So I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of butter, garlic ginger, toss, toss, toss. Boom. Let's go back to Stiff Steve. Back. Back to you, Stiff Steve. There it is. Thanks a lot, Stiff Steve. Good to have you back. Ho! There we go, baby. Nice. A little tossy toss. You know what I got, actually? A little mirin. I think I'm going to add a little bit of mirin. Just a little bit. Looking and smelling real nice, okay? I'm gonna add the peas, like so. A little spoonage. Look at that big old dwallop of it. Well, bam, I'd say that was about two tablespoons. Easy, we're going for a third. I don't care. And then my dollop of butter. All right, now we're cooking, baby. Woo! Now I'm feeling good, all right? I might even have a glass of wine, you know? <laughs> now we're whamming and jamming. Get this thing, get this thing out of here. Get it out of here. I might have to get the camera from Stiff Steve and get a couple close-ups of this. Oh, Christ, we got a jackhammer. Oh, they're freaking jackhammer in the road now. All right, well, we'll wrap that up. All right, we got a real tasty snack on our hands here, folks. I'm going to throw it on this plate. We're going to get a couple buttes, and we're going to call up Sola. Oh, the lovely Sola. Look at that plate job. Someone clean that up. Going in for the close-ups, a goddamn jackhammer. Look, I got some breads going, some doughs, okay? We got Hunzi, got a little sauerkraut. But look, we got our garlic. Dun, 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 boo -doo, doo doo We got our, look at that. Back to you, Steve. Let me put the lid on these. I'm gonna pop the, I'm gonna pop the paste in the old fridge. And I use it, I use it within a week, but uh, I would imagine you can go too. Oh, these look good. Mmm. Sweet, garlicky, gingery, but not in like an aggressive, big bite way. It's pretty loud here. Sound speeds, jackhammer speeds, all that, take four. All right, I'm super happy with the way this turned out. Look, let me use a butte. Happy, fun little side of white rice. Let's call up Sola. Let's get Sola. Let's get the lovely Sola on the phone. Hello? 
So, what are you doing? Hold you on. You gotta shoot landscape. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Hi. Oh, Sola, let me pull up my reflection, fermentation reflection chair. Oh, and no. And look at both the camera and the phone at the same time. I wish I could independently use my eyes. I'm... So, what are you doing? What is that? Hold on, hold on. I'm not There's no time to steam your laundry. Are you talking to free? Did you make them fake people you're talking to? No, now? it's you, Brad. This oh, is you. Oh, Sola's lost it. She's gone. No, man. Wait, the hat's falling off. Everything's falling apart. Is that supposed to be me, Sola? This is you, Brad. You got a knife oh, and everything. Oh, my God. This poor woman. <laughs> Callan, come here, my son. You'll be so <laughs> proud of what the lovely Sola has done. I was going to just have you hang out here. Sola, action. Yes. Sola, that's not a real person. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, we lost her. She's gone full. She's gone full Wilson on us. I had a whole plan. Come on, iPad. The iPad's malfunctioning. I Brad is malfunctioning. Look at this kid. He was eating a mango, and now he's got a mango all over his face like a lion. Absolutely disgusting. Everything's unraveled. Sola, what are you doing, Sola? Okay. Okay. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. I think this is better, right? Oh my God, look at me. That's better. This is better. I've got the pen behind the ear. I think it's pretty good. I think it looks just like you. It does. You nailed it, man. I, you got an A plus for creativity, Sola. Thank you. This is what I did all weekend. Hunzi, I'm, are you recording this? Can I go back to Stiff Steve? Yeah, you can go back. All right, back to you. Back to you, Stiff Steve. Thanks, Brad. So you want to see mine? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm actually... You gotta show the computer. Right? Show the oh, computer. yeah. This is so confusing. Oh, okay. Where'd you get shrimp with head on right now? Oh. Uh -huh. What do I do now? What do I do with my <laughs> garlic and I add them to... I add it all to a food processor. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. She's got the original RoboCoop. I mean, it Look works... Look at that well. beast. Works well. How are you hanging in there, Sola? I mean, great. Like, I'm bringing my friends to me in a safe and responsible way. So the one that's more finely chopped, it just feels like a lot more moisture came out of it and maybe it's like a little softer. The one that's like bigger chunks, it's just still a little bit hard and like not as much liquid has come out of it. Yeah, I think that I'm makes not sense. Gonna, I'm not going to blend this one. I think I'm going to just let it keep going. And I'll just blend this guy. Yeah, turn that into a nice amushada paste. And I start to add some olive oil. Like I add like up to like, like a quarter cup. Oh, okay. Look at the arm moving. All right, I'm gonna do a little of the paste and then a little black vinegar. You like black What's vinegar? What's that, soy sauce? Bla oh, black, black vinegar. I think it's one of my favorite vinegars, right? It's so underrated one. in North America. A little tamari. Good for you. Look at, look at this knucklehead. Okay. This is what I got to deal with. He, I swear to God he did this on his own. Hi, dude. Hey, dude. What? Sola's Hi. making dumplings, boys. Hi, Sola. Hey, how's it going? All right. Dumplings. Action. I'm getting a little funky, funky, salty, tangy thing. But, I mean, you can put that on anything, right? You can put it on anything. Yeah, and I think, like, a lot of veshy dishes, like the base for it, you start with a garlic ginger that... paste. And I think it'd be cool to use this instead because it adds a little bit more like funk and acidity. What'd you think of the fermentation um, experiment? That was, a, that was a fun little recipe, right? Super easy. It's like having a really easy pet because you got to remember to burp it. We did the hard work for you folks. Sola, thank you very much. I'm really glad you got to do this project with me. Maybe we'll do another one sometime, you know? Miss you very much. Stay healthy. Take care of your dogs. Okay, wash your hands, drink some whiskey, have some fun. Bon appetit, right? And bon appetit. Bon appetit. All right, cut. Matt, this is Vito. Hi, buddy. This is a Clementine. And you know you're such a, she's so interested. Okay. Yeah, look Let's... at the pumper. Look at her. Is it getting to the pace you yet? You see falling asleep and I'm really, really upset. So uh, let Wilson go. No. Oh. Shaggy. 
Okay, I believe you, but you can't be barking like dogs. Oh God, oh, ow! No more naked noise in there. No more naked noise in there? I'm sorry, Griffin. All right. Just trying to heat the house you live in, okay, son?